In this video I'll be doing a review and looking at some of the latest changes in Kodi Media Player version 15 which is codenamed Isengard. Now, there's far too many changes that have happened over the past year but to run down a few of the more notable ones there's new fast forward rewind time skip controls which are known as skip steps. We have the ability to customise posters for individual TV seasons. There's improved stereoscopic 3D playback. FFmpeg has been upgraded to version 2.6.2. For Android specific, there is the added automatic refresh rate switching support for video playback on Android version 5 and above. Added support for hardware decoding of HEVC and Ultra 4K resolution. Added support for 7.1 channel ECM playback. And they've moved to Android API 17, meaning that you need at least Android version 4.2. And they have removed the dependency for root access permission rights on Android. I've installed it from the Google Play Store and it's perfectly usable. But there is a bit of a sore point though about Kodi being removed from the Amazon Store. For Linux specific, there's added support for hardware decoding of HEVC and 4K resolution for AM Logic ARM based hardware. There's improved performance on the Raspberry Pi hardware and there's some improved hardware video acceleration on both NVIDIA and AMD graphics cards, but from what I have found on my NVIDIA systems, there is no hardware decoding of HEVC yet. For BSD specific, there's an overall improvement on Kodi support for BSD based operating systems. Under Windows specific, there is added support for HEVC hardware video decoding where driver support exists, and that's pretty vague as to what graphics cards actually support it. But let's take more of a look at it. So let's take a look at this new skip steps. So using the Big Buck Bunny, you press like fast forward or the arrow keys, pressing it once you jump forward to 10 seconds, press it twice, 30, but if you keep pressing it you see the skip step jumps and we've gone straight to the end of the movie because it's quite a short one that, so uh, let's try that again. So just going straight to 5 minutes there and you could do the same for reverse as well so yeah. you could potentially dump, jump around the video quite quickly there. Sorry if that doesn't look so good. We're looking at HEVC encoded video and yeah, I'm losing quite a lot of frames there because I'm flogging the CPU quite hard here. Anyway, let's just give you an idea of that. It seems a nice, neat feature, but I'm not so sure of it myself. But there are settings you can change on it. So if you go across the system settings, video playback, you can edit the skip steps here and you can so like remove them, press enter on that, say so I don't want the minus 10 minutes and I don't want to go forward that far either, so yeah, it's flexible. If you remove the skip delay, take it to none, now if I go back, back to that movie, you see now when I try and fast forward I can't go anything more than 10 seconds. Personally, my preference is to jump forward 30 seconds and then go back 10 seconds and then that works quite nicely for me and that's what I've always done. Looking at presentation here on movies, we now have an icon indicating when there is a grouped set. So here on like Ace Ventura there are two movies, so it's grouped those and it's made it a little bit more clear now. In previous versions you just had a blank space, it either had HD, SD or nothing. It's nice. Under TV, where you have multiple seasons, you can now go across to, say, an individual season. Opening up the submenu, so I just pressed C. You can choose art, and you can choose a specific poster now for each individual season. Uh, there's only a choice of one poster here. So that is a useful feature when you have a new season added, but the artwork hasn't yet caught up. Because I've run into that a few times before, and you're just kind of stuck with a blank folder icon. It's, I suppose a lot of people might be using it for the add-ons rather than doing a whole massive media collection like I have my system where I've got NAS and terabytes worth of movies, TV programs, music. You can get the add-ons for like streaming and I suppose you're not going to have the um, <clears throat> less than legal, let's say something like popcorn time here. You're going to have to manually add those repositories yourself to get the add-ons. It's not something I've done, it's not really something I'm interested in, but hey, the options there. Kodi is a very customizable media player, it gives you all these different options. 
different skins you can have, different add-ons. You make it your own and really one of my only criticisms is using it on an Android phone, these buttons are pretty small to try and hit to your finger. The 10 foot interface doesn't scale well for a four or five inch mobile phone screen. Anyway, that's a look at Kodi 15. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.